Peace building is a complex process, often missing the root causes of conflicts and not finding long term solutions. Support for peace building processes has grown substantially in Africa, but often ends in competing and ineffective engagements. These negative approaches detract from its main objectives of assisting countries and people to prevent conflicts and sustain peace. To stop counterproductive actions, the Institute for Security Studies conducted field research in Mozambique and the Central African Republic. This research focused on how we can design more effective peace building responses. In Mozambique, we looked at how peace building plans were developed and implemented and identified the main challenges and opportunities for the country. In the Central African Republic, we focused on African responses. What role does the African Union play in peace building? What have been some of the main opportunities? And where can it improve? Based on the research, we propose how peace building can be improved. In simple terms, much better planning. We found that through better planning and the ability to monitor progress and results, countries can build longer term solutions that are uniquely tailored to its needs. This improves peace building approaches, preparation, and ability to deal with potential setbacks. There is no linear trajectory for peace building. More capacity and coherence in the development of different strategies is critical for its success. In this process, collaboration with governments and strengthening of civil society is vital to make sure people directly affected by conflicts are listened to. By focusing on people's voices, peace building should ensure their priorities are included in the context of the broader plans of a particular country. Sustaining external support for peace building with adequate resources and political will, as well as ensuring that the support does not go away too soon. Is the best way to build a future for people living in the middle of conflict areas. With this goal in mind, it is important to clearly define and strengthen the role of African responses in supporting peace building processes. This includes the African Union Post Conflict Reconstruction and Development Policy, which, if enhanced, can truly ensure increased coordination, legitimacy, and ownership in peace building. Peace building is a long term process constrained by short term realities. When peace building is planned properly through stronger national capacity, we find it can ensure more effective conflict prevention and achieve sustainable peace. To understand the results of our two studies more, download Fractured Peace Building in the Central African Republic and Planning for Peace, available on www.issafrica.com. Dot org.